Good morning, church. Hallelujah. Welcome to the house of the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Can you say to your seatmates, ay mga katapad, no? Let's bless the Lord today. Amen. Yeah. No? That's, the, uh, that's our purpose why we are here today, church. Amen. This is the reason why we came here today, no? Siguro maybe some of us has a struggling week. Maybe some of us has a challenging week. A burned out week or a disappointing week. Or maybe some of us has a fulfilled week, no? Or your desires in your hearts has been answered by the Lord this week. Whatever situations it may be, nothing can hinder us from worshiping and blessing the name of the Lord. Amen. Masking unsa pa nang circumstance, we will still bless the Lord. Amen. No church, no. That's why na ato na siyang daigon kay mo na ang ato ang purpose nganong nabuhi ta sa ato diri sa kalibutan we worship him no in spite and despite sa atong mga kaagi because the lord is good amen maski unsa pay may tabo the lord is so good that's why we give him praise and worship Psalms 103 verse 1 to 5 can you flash it on the screen Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me. Bless His holy name. No? Can you read with me? Number two, uh, verse two. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all His benefits. Who forgives all your iniquities, who heals all your diseases. Verse four. Who redeems your life from destruction, 
who crowns you with loving kindness and tender mercies. Verse 5, who satisfies your mouth with good things so that you, your youth is renewed like eagles. Amen, no? Because the Lord that you're serving, you're worshiping today has healed you a year before, has healed you a week before, has delivered you a week before, no? And He will do it again. Karon church, amen? So na may mga sagubang sa itong kinabuhi, He will do it again. Hallelujah. So that's why, no, sa itong kasuluran, sa itong kinabuhi, we will bless the name of the Lord. Amen? Hallelujah. Let's all stand and let's bless His name. Hallelujah. Yes, God, Lord, we give you praise. Worship today, O oh God, Lord, because you deserve it. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Amen. Let's clap our hands, church. Every blessing you pour out, I'll turn back to praise. When the darkness closes in, Lord, still I will bless it be, bless it be the name of the Lord, bless it be your name. Blessed be your name, where the sun is shining down on me, where the world's all as it should be. Blessed be your name. Blessed be your name, on the road marked with suffering, though there's pain in the offering. Blessed be your name. Every blessing you pour out, I turn back to pray. When the darkness closes in, still I will say, Blessed be the name of the Lord, blessed be your name. Blessed be the name of the Lord, blessed be your glorious name. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Blessed be your name, Jesus. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Blessed be the glory. You give and take away. You give and take away. You give and take away. My heart will choose to say, Lord, blessed be. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Come on, make it loud, the church. Blessed be your name. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Blessed be the glory. We declare it today. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Blessed be your name. Jesus. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Blessed be your glory. Lord, blessed be you give and take away, you give and take away, you give and take away, but my heart will choose to say, Lord, bless 
big kalimbay ginoong Diyos. And you have sustained it, Father God. Thank you, Lord, that we belong on the culture, O oh God. Lord, whether in good times and in bad times, Lord, we worship your name, O oh God, Lord. We come into your feet and worship. We surrender everything, Lord, and we give it to you, God. Come on, let's just worship God. And Lord, we die now daily, Lord. We die on our flesh, O oh God. We die, O oh God, Lord, sa mong mga pagbuot because ikaw na ginoo Diyos ang nasa sulod sa mong kasing-kasing karun. Lord, we rejoice. We rejoice in that, O oh God, Lord, na ikaw na ang mong ginoo sa mga kinabuhi. Dili na mong mga unod ang masunod. Kung dili, God, ikaw ginoo Jesus. Thank you, Lord, for cleansing us. Thank you for washing us, O oh God, Lord. You made us a white as snow, O oh God. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Sa kaluwasan ng gihata, God. We can thank you enough, O oh God, Lord. Lord, our words of worship, Lord, will never contain, O oh God, Lord, how you deserve it, O oh God. Pero ginong Diyos, ha, sa mong tibok, tibok na mong kasing-kasing, Lord, ginadayin ka na mong Diyos. We give you everything that we have, O oh God, because you have given everything to us, O oh God. Hallelujah, Jesus. to worship the Lord. Oh, Jesus, Jesus. Here at the altar where I run to rest where I wait resurrection and the touch of Because I've learned to live in the grace that belongs to all who are born again. I am cleansed, I am washed, I am sanctified. Jesus, my Savior. 
Sing glory to you, Jesus. Adore you. 
Jesus, 
And Lord, we bring back all the glory, all the honor, all the adoration, all the praises, all the thanksgiving, all dominion, power, glory, and authority belong to you. In the name of Jesus, we shout, Amen. Praise the Lord. Ito palakpakan at tumbuhin gino. Hallelujah. God is a great God. May muntag sa tanan, sa tanang naadali sa sanctuary, full pack tano. And for those who are watching online, may muntag, welcome to the church. And today is a special day because today is, we are celebrating... Mother's Day. So let me greet tanang mga mama, mga padulungay maging mama, ingon pa si Lemuel Kaganiha, mga feeling mama o mga murag mama. Mga mama sa kasing-kasing, mga mama na kadugo, and mga mama in spirit, let me greet you. Happy Mother's Day. And the church would like to honor all the mothers. I would like to request tanang mga mama to please stand. Tanang mga mama na mo, sa mo ang kinabuhi. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah! Palakpakan na to, ato ang mga mama. Praise God. And I would like to ask the men and mga young people, the church has prepared uh, a little pasalamat sa mga mama for all the things that you have done for bringing us to church. Akong mama, nabit-bit me, daghan kaayo, nagag mga mama diri, nagbagood, nagdala sa ilang mga anak. Salamat kaayo for bringing us to the church. Uh, tanang mga mens, please, naa si Ma'am Lovely dito sa kilid, to please, uh, to give this offering of thanks, we have prepared kay ganahan man daw ang mga mama o bulak. Uh, so, hinangyon ako ang mens, mga young people, mga ano, le, gataga na to, ang ato ang mga mothers o flowers and let's uh, honor them karong adlawa. Hallelujah! Palakpakan na to, ato ang mga ginikanan. Praise the Lord! Hallelujah! Happy Mother's Day. Daghan kay tagmama ang simbahan na. Hallelujah. Daghan kay strong kaayo ang intercessory ang simbahan na because of the mothers that we had. Praise God. Naatay yung mga accountability groups for the mothers. And we pray na katong mga mama na wala pa yung accountability groups. Uh, magduol mo sa amo, uh, we would like to share God's grace and God's love sa inyo through accountability groups. Daghan pa diri na side, naghulat ng mga mama. Praise God. Mga young people, pwede mo mag-help sa ato ang mga mens to give the flowers. Happy Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day. Salamat kay sa inyong mga kinabuhi. Praise God. Alaka sweet po ni Kuya Glenn. Oy. Makaingan po kung sana all Kuya Glenn. <laughs> okay. So, Naapa diri mga mothers. Happy Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day sa inyo. Ha? Words could not express how thankful we are for your life. Kung wala siguro ang mga mama, no, ambot, asa na lang mi punitun. Literal, asa na lang yun mi punitun. Praise God. Sige, padayon ta mag, mga tindog mga mama. Pasensya sa mga mama, tindog sa tagamay ha. Sakit-sakit na sa tuhod. Pero, ay, thank you, anak. <laughs> thank you. Okay, manintog ng tanan. And I ask the congregation, kung kinsa man ang mother na naas sa inyong kilid, lay your hands. Lay your hands upon that mother and let's pray for all of them. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Father, O oh God, Lord, we thank you for the lives of our mothers, O oh God, Lord. 
Kung wala siguro sila, Lord, no? Kung wala mi nila gidala diri sa simbahan, oh God, Lord. Wala po mi diri karun, oh God, Lord. I thank you, oh God, Lord, for you have given them special grace to raise us up, oh God, Lord. And right now, I pray, oh God, that you will bless them, oh God, Lord. Some of our mothers are feeling tired, oh God, Lord. Na diri, nagsakit na ilang mga lawas, oh God. Lord, I pray that you will shower them with your grace, oh God. Right now, Father, oh God, I pray for healing upon those bodies who are tired, oh God, Lord. Mga bodies, oh God, Lord, nagikapoy na, oh God. I pray right now, oh God, for your Holy Spirit to be upon them, oh God, Lord. Let your healing hands embrace them, Father, oh God, Lord. Ang mga nasakit na nabati sa ilang lawas emotionally, Father, oh God. Comfort them, oh God, Lord, right now, oh God, Lord. We are praying, oh God, Lord, for your joy to abound in their lives, oh God, Lord. Dili mi makabayad, oh God, Lord, sa tanan nilang gihimo o gihatag sa mo, oh God. That's why we are asking you, Father, oh God, Lord, to look upon our mothers, oh God, Lord, and give them grace abundantly, oh God, Lord. Daghan pa kami ng inahanglan sa ila, Father, oh God, and give them the strength, oh God, Lord, to stand, oh God, Lord, as what they have done before, to stand in the gap, Father, oh God. Napadayon, oh God, Lord, maglihok yun ang amu ang mga mothers, oh God, Lord. I pray that your joy will fill their household, oh God. Your peace, oh God, that passeth all understanding be upon each and every mother that is here tonight, today, oh God. And even those who are listening online, oh God, Lord, I pray, oh God, that you will bless them and bless them more abundantly, oh God, Lord. This we ask through the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we pray, amen and amen. Hallelujah. Ito palakpakan na itong buhing ginoo. Praise God. Happy Mother's Day sa akong mama. Happy Mother's Day sa akong mga igsoon. O sa tanang mama diri sa ato ang simbahan. Happy Mother's Day. Sige do, bilingi ato ng mga mama ninyo. Dila sa kilid B. Ayong hindi na ninyo. Happy Mother's Day. Praise the Lord. Salamat kaayo mga anak sa inyong gugma. Praise the Lord. So today, we will continue with our series. The series about our mandate. Praise God. So, unsa ang ito ang mandate? Our series for this coming months, nagisugda ni Ma'am Lovely last Sunday, is our mandate, cultivate the culture of ADID. Last week, nag-travel uh, nag me, nag-adto me sa Pulumulok. And during sa ang travel, funny kayo, Ma'am Love, it was about four hours na travel. Pero ang dako na siya sa storya sa travel, kay culture. Kung sa ng culture, magsigig ka tawa, sige ano. Kay, sa mang good, when we talk about the culture, itaganahan. Kaya ako personally, ako may numdum sa culture, si Bikat Kultura, katong bata pa ko, araling panlipunan. Kasi ganahan, ana ng mga subject. Amen. Amen sa nag-amen. Di ba di taganahan? Kakapoy na mag-study, ana, oy. But you know what? Culture is very important as what we have learned last Sunday. And you know what? Culture is very powerful yet dili nato siya gina-acknowledge and recognize. Why? Kay dili gusto sa yawa, masabta nato unsa ang power sa culture. Dili gusto sa yawa, masabta nato na when the culture is changed, our lives will be changed. And in transforming, kaya di ba ang ato ang goal is be authentic, to be transformed. Dako kaayon na tool ang culture. But we are not talking about it. Churches are not talking about it. Why? Because ginapugnan sa yawa. Kaya dili siya ganahan. Nga naman, siya man ang hari sa kultura, sa kalibutan ka ron, di ba? When you look at the world today, kinsay nag-dictate sa ato ang culture. It's not the Christians. No. It's not the church. No. Subtle kaayo ang yawa. So today, we will be talking about the culture. And culture, karong hapo, karong muntaga, we will be talking about defining and understanding the significance of culture. Ano palagi ko, ma'am love ka ng 
Kalisod lagi ni ng mga topic na to. Karun no, kanang lahi igit siya. While I was doing, kaning ako ang wali for today, I felt like I was doing my term paper. Feeling yun ako, kanang naagid, naagid ako kung titsa kong professor sa DBC na mo check ani akong papel. Kaya I really have to do a lot of research because dili kayo siya ginaistoryahan. So today, it is my prayer that as we talk about the culture, we talk about its power, understanding unsa di ay na siya, medyo lalumni na ay mga English na mga words, pero grasya sa ginoo, di lagi ta mag nosebleed ani. Abrihan yun sa ginoo, ang atong kasing-kasing, ang ato ang mga atong pangutok, masabta na to ni, matanggal ng mga gikover sa yawa sa ato ang utok, para masabta na to, unsa yun di ay, Defining and understanding the significance of culture. Let me ask everyone to please stand. Let us read our text for today, found in Second Thessalonians two twenty-five. Shall we all twenty-five, fifteen, fifteen to sixteen? Sorry. Shall we all read together? Therefore, brethren, stand fast and hold. The traditions which we were taught, whether by word or by epistle. Now may our Lord Jesus Christ Himself and our God and our Father, who has loved us and given us everlasting consolation and good hope by grace, comfort your hearts and establish you in every good word and work. Shall we all bow our heads and pray? Heavenly Father, O God, Lord, we acknowledge that we are nothing, O God, but by it, it is your by grace, O God, that we are able to stand in this place, O God. Right now, I ask you, Father, O God, Lord, ikaw magagamit sa ko as your mouthpiece, Father, O God, Lord. Give me the gift of utterance, O God, Lord. Let your words be heard today, O God, not my words, O God, Lord. Ang imong pulong, O God, and Lord, I pray that you will bless, O God, Lord, the hearing, the listening and the understanding of your word, O God, Lord, that your people may see and may understand and receive the blessing of your word, O God, Lord. Kung wala ka ginoo, kawang lang yun ni Tanan, O God. So we ask you, Father, as we sit down and listen to your word, be with us, O God, Lord. Ikaw ang mag-explain sa amu, O Father, O God, because it is our desire to know you more, O God, and mailhan ka na mo, pinaagi sa pagtuon na mo sa imong pulong, O Lord. We thank you, Lord, because glorify your name. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. Praise the Lord. Malingkot na ninyong tanam. Today, we will be talking about culture. Three things about culture. What is culture? Jesus and the culture and why culture is important. So, ito ang istoryahan, unsa day ng culture. Last Sunday, guwapo kayo ang wali ni Ma'am Love, Anna, kung ako na lang itong i-record, Ma'am Love, das ako na lang i-ingon. Makulbaan ka ba kay? Kung dako siya na topic, dili siya simple-simple lang. So, let's talk about what is culture. When we say what is culture, ang answer, Anna, is culture is a complex whole which includes knowledge, belief, art, morals, law, customs, any other capabilities and habits acquired by a man as a member of the society. This is a definition by E.B. Taylor in 1871. This is the most famous uh, definition of culture. Nya kasabot mo. Di ba English? Lord, saon man ni Lord? So, as kanina siya na explanation, simply, culture is How people think and behave. Ingon pa ni Ma'am Love last Sunday, culture is how we do things here. Culture is unsa ang imong gihuna-huna o ginabuhat. But it does not mean na kung gibuhat ni mo na na, culture na siya. Culture becomes culture if collectively ginabuhat siya. So, when you say, Kamu pamilya na amoy culture. Kay kamu man nagahimo ninyo na diri sa simbahan na atay culture. We Filipinos, we have a culture, di ba? Lain-lain culture. So for today, we will talk about the five characteristics 
of culture. So lima day ng characteristics of culture and I pray as we listen, ma-understand na to how powerful and influential culture is as we learn about these things. Number one, culture is learned. Everybody say learned. Learned siya because culture is not genetic. Dili pa sabot kung kanang Kanang kung giyon sa kapagpanganak, ang baby, pag anak niya, wala pa siya culture. Wala pa na siya kabalo unsa ng culture. And that baby has no culture. Because culture, we learn our cultures as we grow up in it. Through a process called inculturation or sa, may bala na to as socialization. Meaning to say, culture, matunan siya nga asa. sa imuhang pagdako. As you learn, as magaroon ka o ganang understanding about the world, culture, matunan ninyo na siya. This is very important because I have to ask you now, what have you been learning? Unsa ang inyuhang gipang tunan? Kay ignanta mo kung unsa ang inyuhang gipang tunan, mauna siya ang imuhang culture. Diba? Kita, Pilipino, we know how to speak English, we know how to speak in Tagalog. Kay kultura man na to, natunan na siya ng mga language. Therefore, culture, ma-learn siya. But the question is, as ginikanan, as igsuon, are we learning the culture of the Bible? Nga naman, ginaset aside man ko na to ang Bible Domingo. Ginaset aside na to na siya Bible study. And this is a challenge to parents. Ginaset aside na to ang learning sa Bible sa Sunday school, sa accountability groups. But I tell you, mo yun ang amuang ginaingon per sa SCP. Ang mga SCP students naalang diri sa center once a week, twice a week. At most na na siya, kumusimba ang bata. But the big chunk of their time is spent in your houses and in your school. What are the things that they are learning? And now, hatlo kaayo, kay pandemic man, online na tanan. You have to check what are the things that your children are learning online. Habalo ba mo ang mga bata karon British na mustorya? Good day, good morning, Hello. Nga naman, si Peppa Pig naman ang gitanaw. Bantayan na to. Wala ko naingon na mali. Pero ing ana, ka-powerful ang culture. Kung unsa ang ginatunan, mao ang makulture. Mo nang bantayi. Kay usahay, ang teacher na ba, dili gili usahay. Proven na na siya karon Kinsay teacher sa mga bata. Laptop. Cellphone. Tablets. Culture is learned. We have to understand kana na culture. Munang bantayan na to unsa ang ginatunan sa bata and unsa ang imong ginatunan. Because number two, culture is shared. Shared siya. Ingon pa ko kaganiha, when a young baby is born, wala pa siya culture. A culture becomes shared kay culture is something that a group of people shares. It's shared practices and shared understanding. It becomes a culture pag share na ni mo. Kung ikaw na ginabuhat ni mo na, uh, habit na ni mo, that's your personal na assessment sa imuha. But that becomes a culture if gishare siya and ginahimo na siya sa tanan. Grabe ang text culture sa Pilipinas sa una. Muunang ginaingon na Philippines is the texting capital sa kalibutan. Karun, na anay IM, na anay mga social media na tanan. Kay we are doing it. Maunang diri sa church, we are trying to share what we have learned sa pastoral staff, sa among accountability. We want to establish that culture and share it sa inyo ha. Because that is the power of culture. It can be shared. Ang culture, dili na siya murag elitista lang na anara dira, dili ka maapil. No, ang culture, gusto na niya ishare. That is why it is important to understand and learn what is culture. It is important, unsa day ako ang ginashare sa ako ang anak. Magsikog yaw sa kong anak, eh. magsikig siya ang cellphone, paglingin ako sa kong sarili, nag-cellphone po ko. Culture na. 
Di ba? Because culture is shared. Mo nang lupig pa na pandemic na makatakod. Ignan ta mo. Nga man katong inyong anak kay bata pa, lahi naman siya. Pag skwila niya o high school, lahi na lagi iyahang batasan. Lahi na lagi iyang ginabuhat. Nga man, lahi naman po ang culture sa eskwelahan. Because culture is shared. The next one is, culture is shared because it can be social, it can be transmitted and continuous. Mo na kong ginaingon, lupig pa ka ng virus na maka, ma-transmit. And we have to understand that it is continuous. Dili na siya muundang. Tendency mong good nato, ay natudlo na ako na sa kung anak karon o bahala na kadila si mong kinabuhi. Ayaw po. If we want to establish a guwapo na culture within our family, dili pa sabot na gingo ni mong kaisa, okay na. Mauna ang problema sa mga churches sa una. Kana ganing kiningo nag pastor o kaisa, gina-expect na niya na kanang yung people buhato na. Mauna pag makamali ang yung people, magkurug na. Dili na ganahan mo at tuog simbahan. Continuous sharing siya. Dili na siya muundang siya. So, next is, culture is symbols. Kani, importante po na to ni na masabtan. Nga symbols, culture is based on symbols and culture is spread from generation to generation through symbols. People learn their cultures, beliefs, and behaviors through symbols. Unsa di ay ang symbols. Symbols is something that means or stands for something else. Example, wedding ring. Pag makakita ka o someone who's wearing a wedding ring, dili niya kailangan iingon na minyo ko. Di ba? Because culture na, na pag na ay wedding ring, minyo ka. Cross. The cross is the symbol of Christianity. Makita kay ka og cross, mingon jud kag simbahan na siya, di ba? Dili na kailangan og, og words, makabalo na ka. Ato ang flag is a symbol of our country. Pag magsuot, pag mato kag Olympics, they are all the same. Tao sila athletes, but what makes the difference kay na ay flag ang ilahang sa nina. Traffic lights. Mo nang si si Jada kung bago man kan 2 years old, kakabalo siya. Red means stop. Nga man, nga nung kabaluman siya. Because those are symbols. And also, language is symbol. It is symbolic because word stands for objects and ideas. And in fact, it is the most important symbol of culture. Mabantayan ninyo pag every generation na ay na sila ay sinuryahan. Na ay katong mga tigulang, ay sorry, di na tigulang, mga hamtong na generation na hilig kayo magbaliktad-baliktad o words. Kanang, di ba katong mga, mga repa pips, ana, mga uh, dehins, ana-ana. Muna ang ilahang symbol sa ilahang generation. Pag sila lagi na mag-story, baka yung joke ka, ah, ilan ang culture. Unya, sa diri na na generation. Oh, lodi, lodi. Werpa, werpa. Karun put na siya na culture. Nagstorya mi sa kung anak, ana siya. Ma, ginakuan mo nila ma, gina. Ship, ship. Ana ko, usay ship na barko. Dili ma, oy. Usay ship ka ng ano, karnero. Dili ma ba ship, relationship ko. Hmm, ako din yung pasabot. Tigulang na yun di ay ko. Kasi culture uses words. To influence each other. Kaya nga nga ko, feeling, feeling ako baka nang bata-bata ko, dilik, tiguwang na gano'y ko. Hinaay mga words na ginaistoryahan ang mga young people. Kaya ko kasabot. Sige ko nila katawan kay, kaya nang, unsa din ang DP? Unsa din ang DP? Unsa din ang DP? Kaya nga ko kabalo. Kaya nga ko mag-study kaya nga. Unsa na siya? Uh, display profile. Ano ba na? O oh, di ba kabalo sila o niya ako, di ba? Powerful kaayo ang language. Ingon sila, picture day na. Ah, okay, picture day na. O niya, unsay mong bayo, unsay mong bayo. Ako na ibulan sa bayo. Biology, bio, life. Unsay na ng bayo. Kana di mong ginabutang sa ilalom, sa imuha, ganyan profile picture. Kung unsay na imong bayo, it represents who you are. Ay, ingana, kapowerful ang language. Di ba? Culture. That is one of characteristic of Uh, of culture, 
symbols, words. Maunang, we, nag-story lagi mi sa, uh, sa pastoral staff, it is important that our words dari sa simbahan pari-pariho. Kaya pag mingon kong ADID, on saan pa sabot? Kung mangutan ako na sa uban, di na sila kabalo. Importante that we are speaking and saying the same terms. Dili kay para authoritarian kayo, para magkasinabot na. Pag mingon ng authentic, kasabot na ana, dili. Sure mo, kasabot na dili. Kasabot. Kaya dili na po ko nakadungog ng authentic, authentic. Dugay kayo kung simbahan na ni. Karun po nakasuryag authentic. AG, kabalo mo sa AG. Accountability group, makatawa po ko sa kong pag-umang ko, nalil siya, oh. Mamay ibay ka ng mag-ano sa kuha, maghiram sa kong cellphone, kay mag-ag ko. Ang say, ag? Ay, mag-AG, di siya. Munang, munang, from the children's department to the youth, to the ladies, to the men's, pariho tao gina-istorya because we are establishing a culture. Maunang mo ana may we talk the, to the young people as much as possible ang inyong curriculum ing ani lang pod ayo na mo og lahi kay kung mulahi mo lisod kay establish ang culture karon day nako nasabtan ma'am love kay mo ana na si ma'am love let us use the words na ang ato ang ginagamit para magkasinabot ta ay tama di ay kay kung Lahi ang ginaistoryahan sa mga bata na words. Lahi ang ginaistoryahan sa young people. Lahi sa ladies, lahi sa men. Lahi-lahi tagkultura. Munang maglisod ta og establish the culture. So, importante kaayo ang words. Importante kaayo that we are using the same symbols para magkasinabot ta. Because red to some countries are good, but red to other countries are a curse. Munang, huwag ba'y sala ang red? Huwag ba'y sala si color red? Pero kay lahi-lahi man og understanding. Munang, importante kayo sa culture ang symbols, especially ang pinaka-importante, the language. Why? Kay balik ta, shared, manggod siya. Mapasa, manggod siya. If, dali kay siya mapasa if pariho ta og symbols and language na ginagamit. Next, the fourth characteristics is it is integrated. Unsa man ang integrated? Culture is integrated because it is a complex system made up of many parts that are interconnected and related to each other. Culture dili cult. Kaya pag mayroon nagkag-cult, dapat ingan nila yun, pariho na tanan, ingan na na. Culture is integrated. Lahi-lahi na, lahi-lahi man taog ka ng kana natay mga clicks ato a uh, but isa gihapon na ato ang culture there are three independent parts of a cultural system it is the economic the social and the value system economic system is the way na mo acquire ta og mga things karon ginagamit nato is money di ba before kung namino mo sa si inyong araling panlipunan or katong civic at kultura or katong sa kung pagka grade 6 hikasi ginaunsa sa mga tao pag exchange o commodities. Ginatawag na sistemang barter. Oh, skit nilang ulo, nag-remember sa ilang mga lesson. Sistemang barter, kaya wala may kwarta sa una. So, maunang daghan kayong nagpuyo along the coastline. Nga man, dito man sila nag-barter. mag ang mga taga-China, China mo, ato sa Pilipinas. Unsa man nilang ginadala diri, mga porcelain daw. Unya, mga Pinoy, unsa ginahatag. Hatag og ahos, hatag og bumbay, spices. Mo man na ang ato. Ah. So, imagine ninyo, civilizations are created by what culture dictates. And that is the economic system. Social system, unsa ang social system? Social system are, katuganin, ginagunagani ha, na ay family, na ay church, na ay school. And there is ato ang church na apod ay laing-laing social system. We have children's department. Dili man pwede na magwali ko sa inyo karon Mga bata, pinaanak ko, di ba? Lahi-lahi siya na social system, but we are talking about the same thing because we have the same culture. We have to understand that. Nag-story lagi mini Abby last time katong nag-visit sila sa balay. Siyate, unsaon man na mo pag-share pag ng gusto i-share sa pastoral staff sa young people. Ano ko, B, 
Pareho lang man ta ginabuhat. Kaya kung unsa among ginestoryahan sa pastoral staff, like sa kids jam, maulang man po nang amuang ginatudlo. But in a different way lang, pambata lang po. So ang akong prayer sa young people, same po mo ginayon, pero pinayang people. Kaya ganahan din mo young people, o ignan mo o, good morning, kids jammers, anaana, di ba, mga mga si Jibay, oy. Di ba kasi lahi-lahi ta, o social system, but it is dictated by one. Culture. The third thing is the very important: the value system. Maunis siya ang importante kaayo sa culture. Okay, what you value dictates your culture. Kung value ni mo ang maglaag Domingo, mula agjug ka, di ba? Kay rest day good. But if you value Jesus Christ, Domingo gani simbagyud ko. If you value money, maning ka mo d'yo ka og trabaho. Unahon ni mo ang trabaho kaysa ang mag-AG, kaysa ang mag-Bible study, kay mauni siya ang within the cultural system na ay economic, social, and value system. Dahil undo ito mo gamay sa inyong pamilya para dili kayo ta muragdako. Unsa ang economic system sa inyong family? There are families na ang ba na ang nag-work. There are families na ang wife ang nag-work. Na ana inyuhan ng klaseng economic system. Na apoy social system. Na ay families na extended kaayo. Super extended. Unsa na ni mo na mong kauban sa balay? Ako ang third cousin. Layo ano no? May nag-uban gihapon sa balay. Pero inyo ng social system. Value system. What does your family value? Unsa una pagtubag? What does your family spend time the most? Mauna ang inyong ang ginavalue. Kanalo ko, hey Lord, kung i-quiz ko sa ginuuno, kung, kung legalistic lang kay si Lord, kunya ipang chart niya ang ato ang ipang buhat, maulaw ko ba Lord, unsa gyud ang ako ang ginavalue? Mao nang importante kayo karon ato ang istoryahan. Kay kung dili mo kuno ato istoryahan, wala lang, ah, okay lang. Ana lang di ay na. Unya, sige taging on. Ah, okay lang. Unya, ang yawa, nag-creep na di ay sa ato ang lifestyle. Nag-creep na di ay sa ato ang family. Maulo, Diyo ko kayo. Sige kong tanaw, cellphone. Unya, musto yung akong anak sa kuwa. Sa mukha, uy, wapag inahuman yung kuwa ang ginatanaw. Nga naman, kasi wala na ko na-understand that kana din ginavalue na ako. Maude ang ako ang ginashare na culture sa ako ang family. Unang dari sa church, ninkamot kita o isa ang ato ang culture. Ninkamot kita na istoryahan ang culture, masking hapdos kay sa dunggan o sakit kay sa ilong, kay masking English kay siya, istoryahan yun na ni Iksuon. Because it affects our lives. It affects, it changes, it transforms lives. So the next is, culture is dynamic. What is dynamic? Dynamic Because it is adaptive, responsive, and inclined to change. Grabe ka volatile ang culture. Kaya ang culture, dili na siya ka na ganing establish na good kaayo na. Mas kaya ikdon pa na ni mo na maudugay na good kaayo na. Pero volatile siya, meaning to say it is susceptible to change. Mauna kung ikaw ang imuhang pagtuo, ikaw imuhang value system, dili ang anak ka firm, dali kayo ka mag- takdan. Di ba? Munang, ah, nalagi ko, balik-balik yun na ako, mga estudyante sa Bible School. Salamat yun ko sa ginoo, kaya wala niabot ang ginoo tong high school ko. Eko tong high school ko, niabot ang ginoo, impirno yun si Jibay. Nga naman, uso man ang kopyahan ay. Ano mag-study mang kagdagan kung naa kay friends? Di ba? Kung siya ginabuhat na mo, ikaw ganahan man ka og ka na English ikaw study English unya ako kay kuan man ko kaya man akong mat ako'y mat unya ikaw sa kuan araling panlipunan tunga na unya ampot na pud aning among mga teacher wa siguro sila stapler sa una di man gina stapler ang ano ang test paper so unsa ginabuhat sabot ta black tag ball pen bright mga wise ka ayo no ano man o page 1 imo na lang page 1 di man masakpan kay pag ana sa teacher ay black na ball pen Unya mo lagi na sa mga teachers na nagatana ako mag-test mo, stapler in town ninyo, uh, kanang by experience, no, di ba, Ma'am Adele, stapler ninyo. Kay bitaw, wise ka ayo. Unya, unsa pa akong natun-am? Kristohanon ko oy. 
nagaano ministry na ko sa church, nagtamburi na ko 11, pero tong 11 years old ko, high school mamalikas. Ano na malikas man? Ay, ito pamalikas? Ay, pamalikas din. Na. Ginaingon man good sa tanan. Maumang good ang culture. Even if ang akong mama magsigi may family devotion taga si Mana, ginabit-bit ko sa church every Sunday, paapilunog mga activities sa church, dali kaayo matakdan kay ang culture makatakod. Culture man ako sa eskwelahan. Dili man sa ila pa malikas din ang mga anak na words. Muna sa ako po, dili po kayo para mabilong. ba? Diba? Maunang culture is dynamic. Ma-understand na to na siya. And maunang dili po na masad pag na, ako nga mong culture lagi, dili lagi ka ayo gwapo. Ay kabala ka igsuon. Kay culture is dynamic. You are able to change it. Pero ignan lagi tika, it takes time. Dili pa sabot na karon giignan ni mo anak na ing anak naka mo na niya tong kultura ing ani na kita. Mm, magic na siya. Dili ulit-uliton, ulit-uliton. When I started my Bible study tong gisugo minimum lab na nakulbaan pa ko. I started my Bible study sa mga bata. That is we started with Monday and then buntag unya hapon. Pero nag Take yun ni karon og Tuesday 2 p.m. Kabalo mo, many times, mga na na ko, kapoy na kay ko, Lord, pwede, dilis ako mag-Bible study. Unya mo, chat man na, Teacher G, ba na tayo Bible study karon O ano man na yun ko, napay one time nakalimot ko. Tulog-tulog si G, ba yun, kapoy, hala, nagpaka-paka man among group chat. Teacher G, ba yun, mag-start na tayo og Bible study. Teacher, yan na, Hala ka, Lord, na kultura na sa mga bata ang Bible study. Nga naman, gipas manggod sa ila, ha? Munang dili, good me, pwede na wala yung Bible study. Pag ako busy, naagin na yung mga ate. Wala, kuan lang last week, eh, busy, good ka, ayaw, tanan. Kaya mangita, good na sila. Kaya nga naman, gibalik-balik. Makatawa ko sa ako ang pag-umangkon, si Yuan. Iyap-iyap na yung schedule. Monday na ako'y kumun, pagka 10, pagka 12 na ako'y 7 in play, pagka Tuesday, feeling ganyan, hindi ka siya ginabuhat. Pagka Tuesday na po kumun, tapos two, uh, Tuesday 2pm Bible study, Wednesday na ako'y accountability group. Nga naman, nakultura na sa bata. Nga nung nakultura siya, kay gibalik-balik siya. Mauna, culture is dynamic. We are able to change it. Kay responsive kayo ang culture. Kung unsay na karon, maupod na, sakay po na ang culture. Mauna, importante kay sa atua, masabta ni siya. Why? Because the devil has been using the culture to change the church. Kahad look. Kuyaw git kaayo. Nga naman, pag naa sa simbahan, lahi. Muna yung na, bipolar, masagun ni sila, oy. Pag naa sa simbahan, lahi. Pag naa sa gawas, lahi po. Pero kay mas taas ba ng time na naa sa gawas, pag sulod sa simbahan, unya, wala na bantayan, gihimong leader sa simbahan, bit-bit ang culture sa kalibutan sa simbahan. Unya, gihimong leader na share. Nga naman, kay ginatunan man. Nag-change man. Tingala na lang ta. Dili naman na imaw ang culture sa simbahan dapat. Anong lahi naman ang mga simbahan karon? Dili naman noon maging blessing. Mananggit na mo at simbahan. Di nasugtan sa mga ginikanan. Unsa di ay ginabuhat sa simbahan. Mo ang importante kaayo. Masabta na to. Unsa di ay ang culture. Next is... Five characteristics para di takalimot. It is learned, matunan siya. It is shared, ginashare siya. Symbolic, it uses symbols and language. Integrated, lahi-lahi man siya, na ay family, na ay, na ay city, na ay province, na ay, na ay country, pero isa ka culture and it is dynamic. It changes because it is responsive and it is adaptive. So, Nakabalo na taon sa ang culture. Medyo hangat no. Fina ko ba? Nagsaka dyan ko. Huwag ka nang bungtod. Pero sige lang iksuon. Kung ato agad ning tunam. Now, let's talk about Jesus and culture. Unsa di ay pag atuan ang itapad si Jesus o ang culture. This has been long talked about sa una pa kaayo, even in Jesus' time. Unsaon pag-fit si Jesus sa ato ang culture. 
Mga tanan bito ko, sige daw, before tamo pa dayon, on saan na to pag-fit si Jesus sa ato ang culture? Asa dapit sa imuhang culture ka ron si Jesus? Unsa ba si Jesus nagadictate sa imong culture or si Jesus nagasabay-sabay sa culture or si Jesus kanang kuan lang siya kanang seasonal lang siya sa imong culture So let's talk about the five views of Jesus and culture it uh, it is from the book of H Richard Niebuhr he, uh, he's a theologian mo ni siya ang sikat kaayo na book about the uh, when we talk about Jesus and culture so naa siya actually gihatag ng mga views there are five views but allow me mo na ingon siya the five views views plus one so allow me to add another one pero let's talk about the five views uh, hold uh, fasten your seat belts mga lalum alam ni na terms, pero grasya sa ginoo, pasabdon kita ni sa ginoo. So, first is, na ay six siya kay plus one. Jesus against the culture, Jesus of the culture, Jesus above the culture, Jesus and culture in paradox, Jesus the transformer of culture, and the last one, Jesus is the culture. So, Jesus against the culture. Jesus against the culture kay an expression of culture outside the church are viewed mali. Anything, anything na outside sa church, anything na outside sa ano, pag perceive ganin na siya na dili siya bilong sa church, mali. Mauna siya ang una na view. Unsa man na siya. Loyalty to Christ and the church entails rejection of culture and society. Meaning to say, if loyal ka sa church, if loyal daw ka kay Jesus, kay Jesus against the culture man, di ligyo ka pwede magsabay sa culture. Mauni siya ang mga beliefs sa mga Christian uh, uh, monks. Magmungha na sila. Di na sila mupuyo sa kalibutan. Kaya pag nako sa kalibutan, musuot lang kong t-shirt, makasalaan ako. Ana na ilahang level. Jesus against the culture. Maunang mga Mennonites, mga Amish Christians, nagahimo sila ilahang society. Naa sila ilahang grupo. Matingala mo, Ana, kay pariyo gina silag sanina, pariyo na silag buhok, kasi they believe that Jesus is against the culture. Dili igad pwede na si Jesus o ang culture magkasina, magka, magkasinabot. Usahay kita ing ani pod na. Gamito na to ni na view pag naatay gusto ipaglaban na prinsipyo. di ba? Pag naa ganin na iingon ganin, dili gyud kay gautan gyud na siya. Sure ka nagbasa kag Bible. Basta lang gani kay dili lang normal na ginahimo sa simbahan. Pag mingon din ka, dautan dayon mo gani ang lisod kaayo kay sa na pag naay mo sulod diri sa simbahan, chuy-chuy gani nagnaong, unya naay tato. In Jesus name ayog sulod sa simbahan. Lisod kaayo kay ngano man, anything pag naa ka nagajoin ka sa culture. Against Christ. Dili na ka pwede magtrabaho o ka ng secular job. Kaya ang secular job, dautan na siya, makadaot na sa imuha, makataint na siya. Mauna siya ang Jesus against culture. Isa na ka-view sa, sa Jesus against culture. So, nakita na to na though na existing ni siya, mangunta na ko sa inyo as we go along, is this the right kind of view of culture? When it, when it comes to Jesus. Next is Jesus of culture. Kung kaganiha against si Jesus, karun na po is Jesus of the culture. Unsa man na siya. Ang cultural expression as a whole is accepted. Si Jesus daw, love niya ang culture. He is the culture. So whatever the culture dictates, it's okay with Christ. Ana na siya. Jesus does not condemn the world. He created the world. So Jesus is of the culture. But the problem is, Jesus of the culture, ang atong culture, ang atong gusto, ginafit na to kung unsa ang gusto ni Christ. That's why there are lots of LGBT saying na tama sila. Love is love. You know what I'm teaching Uh, online class na ako yung mga Canadian na mga, mga young teens. Sometimes I'm so 
lisod kay magtudlog English. Unya straight, unya sila kay how kay sila kay English sila. Unya ikaw ning kamot ka. Lord, pwede na ko ni magtudlo ani sa ila. Lord, ka pwede kay mag-English sayo kay among klase kay gabi man sa ila ako sayo kaayo. Magloading pa akong brain. Pero kabalo mo unsa gyud ang gina-emphasize ni Lord sa ako a ah, padayon og tudlo anang mga bata ah, kasi sa ilahang country it is offensive kung ingon nimo na sala ang homosexuality. Pag imo nang iingon, pwede ka makulong. Maunang, hey, Jesus of the culture eh. Kabalo ba mo na na ay, uh, one of my term papers, ang ako ang term papers na ako sa Bible school is homosexuality. Kabalo ba mo na na ay isa ka-Christian na uh, appeal siya sa LGBT, iyahang gikasuhan ang Zonder Van. Mauna siya ang isa ka-publication uh, house na nag-sell og Bibles. Nga nung iyahang gikuan, iyahang gikasuhan, kay nagagamit daw ang Bible o words na maka-offense sa iyahang, iyahang gender preference. Imagine, and he is saying that Jesus is not like that. I know that Jesus loves me, pero the way you write the Bible is wrong. Ing ana na katwisted. And when I was talking to my students, Lisod sa ila ha i-accept na kasi pag, when they go to school, pil ang gender sa ila ha. Na ay male, female, na ay gay, na ay transgender, na ay homosexual, na ay queer, na ay asexual, na ay intersex. Unya, plus, plus, plus pag yun. So when I, st- I tell them na walay kuan, male and female lang, it becomes... Rog- Teacher, why? Murag, ana gani sa ila, ha? Though they are all Christians, pero mao ilang kultura. Habalo mo, kasi what they are believing, Jesus of the culture is, love is love. Regardless, kung love siya, love. It, it, regardless kung unsang form. If I love a person with my same, uh, same sex na siya, it is still love. Anong pugan man ko mo? Love. Jesus of the culture. So, ning anak ko sa ila, ha? If love is love and we cannot define love, let me ask you this question. A 60-year-old man is in love with an 8-year-old girl and he wants to marry that girl. Gusto ka? Mahitabo na? And he wants to consummate their marriage. Mauyahang gusto. Love is love. Unya, kaning isa ka tao na in love kay sa iyahang pet, minuan niya ang iyang pet, and gusto niya i-consummate ang ilahang marriage. Is that okay? Mauni lang ginaingon, Jesus of the culture. Mauni ang isa ka view, this is liberal Christianism. Sige na, okay ra na siya. Kung unsa man mo ang ginabuhat, basta simba lang yun, okay ra na. Because Jesus is of the culture. Whatever the culture dictates, Jesus will say yes. Okay lang na siya. That is the second view. Next is Jesus above the culture. What is Jesus above the culture? You do not choose between Christ and culture, but you rely on both Christ and the culture as God uses the best elements of culture to give people what they cannot achieve on their own. Unsa di ay na. The problem with this is, Kay naga dili man tamo pili with Christ and culture. Christ is not against. Christ is not for the culture. Ang gina explain aning Jesus above the culture is that Jesus ginagamit niya ang culture para ma explain sa ato a. Ah. But the problem if mabira kay nato ni siya to the extremes, it is the institutionalization of Christianity through finite and materialistic expression. Unsa man na siya, there is a big chunk of religion karon that uses this one. Nga no ma'am, ginatry na ang infinite God ginabutang into one, one thing. Unsa man na, ang ako ang ginoo na kusgan kayo, pag na ako'y cross diri, pag anaon ako mahadlok ang ungo. Ing ana, ginahimo ng kung unsa ang culture mo dictate na. Unsa man nilang ginaingon, kung makasala ka, magampo ka o gingani na times, ingani, mapasaylo na ka sa ginoo. Ang infinite and great God, ginatry na ugbutang into something para masabtan sa tao. 
Usahay pagyod, sige, mag-offer kag ingani, ingana. Mauna siya ang, ang Jesus above the culture. The fourth one is Jesus and culture in paradox. Unsa man ang pasabot, Ana. The conflict between God and humanity is ever-present and the conflict represents Christ and culture as well. Grace is God and sin is man. Actually, uh, we, are, we are in this belief, but the problem is kung ma-extreme lagi. Kasi what is this belief? The belief that kita makasasala yun na. Wala yun tay ato. Kung tanawon yun ta, hugo yun ka ayuta. And Christ is love. And Christ is grace. Which is true, right? Tama man na. Dapat na nga to ang view sa ginoo that God, Jesus Christ is God, He is loving, He is gracious, and I am a sinner. That is a right perspective. But the problem is, kani, ginagamit ang come as you are theology. What is come as you are theology? Come as you are. Kung ing ana imong batasan, ing ana ang imuhang uh, kultura, ing ana imong prinsipyo, come as you are. But we know that when we come to the church, we will be transformed and changed to be more like Christ. But the problem with the come as you are, muana naman ang mga pastors, daghan kay ni mega churches. I tell you, mega churches ing ani ang ilahang theology. At to diri come as you are, the Lord would not change you. Gihigugma ka sa ginoo as you are. Dili na kaniya baguhon. Kaya kung kinsa ka, gihigugmati ka. And that is the belief of our culture. ba? Diba? Unsa ang ginaingon sa kultura na to karon? Be the best you. Be the best version of yourself. Ikaw kung kinsa ka, the focus is on you. Maunang had look ning Jesus in paradox with the culture kung ma-bring na to siya to the extremes. And I tell you, kanina mga view, di man ni siya mali, but kung dili ta magbantay manggod, itwist ni sayawa. And, sorry for the word, if magtanga-tanga tanin yung kristohanon, remember, culture is dynamic. It can easily change. It re, it is responsive and adaptive. Kung dili na ka focus, dili gud ka kabaluon sa gud mong gitindugan, patay gud ka igsuon. So the next is the fifth one. Ah, uh, the fifth one is Jesus, the transformer of culture. We also believe in this one that Jesus came to earth. Dili kay para i-embrace ang culture o unsa man na. But it is to transform us. But the problem with this view is, dili ni ginadawat sa ubang tao. Ano ma'am? Kay kung love ko sa ginoo, ano yung mga kong baguhon? Di ba love man ko ni Christ? So ano ko ba Lord? Nibor, Nibor, the writer of this book, showed us these five views Asa man mi dapit ani Lord Jesus and the culture I was praying Lord magwali ko ani tas dili na ko i-ending so mag-ending mi nga nga mi ani tanan wala mi kabaloon sa so let me propose I'm not a theologian dili man ko scholar pariho ano nagsulat aning libro but let me propose to you the sixth view the plus one the plus one is Jesus is the culture The problem mong God with Jesus transforming the culture, ginagamit na to si Jesus as a third person. Dili siya involved sa kung sa ang naata. Pag mingon mong God transforming, Lord, pwede dili sa ka mag-transform. Naatay choice ba? Lord, pwede dili sa ka mag-transform sa amu akaron. When we say Jesus is the culture, unsa nang Jesus is the culture? When you accepted Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, Jesus lives within you. And when Jesus lives within you, you will be like Christ. It is not someone transforming you, but it is that Christ in you which is changing you to be more like Him. Dili siya ka ng laing tao ba? Pag ingana magod na itong tanaw sa itong transformation, pwede ito mo ingon na, Lord, pwede unya na lang kunin mo i-transform. Or, kani, salaan na itong tanan. Dili bitaw na ako kauban ng ginoo karon. God is not looking at me right now. 
pwede dili sa ako to be more like Christ. But if we understand, if our culture is understanding that Jesus Christ is in me, is with me, changing me, wala na tayo post-Kristohanon. Dili na tayo pwede may ingo na, wala bitong ang Kristo, wala bitong si Jesus. If we are aware that Christ is in us, if we, our culture is understand that Jesus is in us, Kinsa ba diri ang gidawat sa Kristo as their Lord and Savior? Say Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Christ is in you. Christ is not someone na maghawa-hawa. Christ is not something or someone na Domingo lang ni mo makitaan. Na during Bible study lang, Christ is with you. In Christ, mauna siya, ang atong goal is to be more like Christ each day. Maunang dili siya lisod. Actually, lisod siya. Lisod siya. Pero kung ato ang isipon, nakauban na to. Ato ang i-understand yun, nakauban na to si Christ. It becomes easy. Why? Because Christ is with us. Kung ikaw maningkamot sa imong sarili na di na ka mamakak, ignanti ka, mas mudaghan pa na imong pamakak. Kung ikaw maningkamot sa imong own struggles, sa imong own fears, mas maglisod ka. But realizing and understanding, na naaman sa kuwa si Kristo, dili man di ay, dili man di siya layo, always man di ay. Morning, I am proposing this view, Jesus is the culture. Wala na tayo laing gusto pa. Dili ko gusto muliwat sa among senior pastor o muliwat sa leader. Mo yung kung ginayang kong sa discipleship na mo sa, ako, sa DBC na class. It is not about me teaching you how to become like me. Dili in taon ayaw. Gignan na tamo many times. Ayaw. Kay daghan kay quirks and mga weaknesses si Teacher G. Bay na ang ginuura in tayo makabago. Kita, we want to be like Christ. And it becomes easy because Christ is in us already. Kami mag-iksoon, lima me. And we took that uh, personality test. That was way, way long time ago. Pag-take na mo sa personality test, lahi, lahi, migbatasan. Hila, intawan, saan ba? Kung mamaanin, lahi, lahi, migbatasan. Ignan ta mo. Kami ni Ate Olive, Mga pastor na may simbahan, ni Agi yun, mi og away na sinagitay. As in, grabe yun. Kana kung ate na si Chichay, ate na ko na siya, hadlock na sa kuwa. Kaya di ko na niya makasabaan, kaya tutukan na ko na siya, hadlock na siya sa kuwa. Kaya nakatesting na siya, gitulak, yun ako siya, hayang siya. Kaya lahi-lahi yun, mi batasan. Lahi-lahi, ikaw po, lahi po kagbatasan. Bunayo, kami gani sa kumbana, lay-lay po ni kultura. Kaya sa tinood lang ka ng culture, gani, mag-abot gud na siya, marriage gud na sa mga minyo, kasabot. Ang kultura sa muang balay, pag magluto si mama, itapower gud ng uban. Ana gud na sa muang balay. Kaya aron, kung naamay na iwit, nakakaon. Ang kultura sa kumbana, kung unsay giluto, kaunon. Dili na paunyaan. Dato-dato, lagi na sila kultura. Hindi ka dawat si Jibay. Namang mong ganyan mong kultura. In taon, naghinilakay ming duha. Kaya na-hurt day siya. Kaya pagluto, gilay o kuan. Gigi-ano, gitaperware. Siya ang sayo mong tanaw sa koko. So kaya kumukaon na. Dili, kumuguna ko naglaing tao. Ko dili, man. Mohon mong kung naginahoy mo. So kung mama, mag-taperware. At tapos sa mong balay, dahan kayo mag-taperware. Pero siya hurt. Nagyad kaayos siya. Kasi lahi-lahi ta. Asa lang ta magkapareho. Kaya si Kristo na asa atua. Habang ito mo, ignanta mo no. Maamiss, good ko sa mo ang mag-iksuon. Kaya pwede na good me mag-away. As in, maray, gamay na lang yung ana no. Pwede good me mag-away. Unya, kay mga adults na may tanan ba. Ako mama, mas kitan ulo sa akong mama. Pero praise the Lord. Authentic disciples na. Amen! Praise God! Naamay mga laing, mga suyestorya, ka ng... Dili na padakon. Dili na siya issue. Nga naman, lahi-lahi manta. But ang one thing that we are the same is that Jesus is in us. Jesus is the culture. Munang mingon si Ma'am Love sa ato ah. Ang culture na ito, mauna na. Kung sali ang culture? Si Jesus. Asa man ta makatoon, Ana? Read your Bible. Nga naman, Marong ganita, magpataas ganita, nagbuhok ng mga lalaki, kaya mag-Jesus daw sila, 
Dili po na yung anak. Mamalitag, understand ba? Maunang importante kaayo ang culture. Kay unsa di ay ang culture ni Jesus. Second Thessalonians, anak siya. Therefore, brethren, stand fast and hold the traditions which you were taught, whether by word or epistle. This is Paul talking to the Thessalonians. Anak siya, i-hold fast ninyo ang amuang gipangtudlo sa inyo ha, by word or by letter. Mo, ni pasabot sa epistle. Unsa man ni, ang mga kultura and traditions na gitudlo ni Paul. Unsa din ang gitudlo ni Paul. Now may our Lord Jesus Christ Himself and God the Father who has loved us and given us everlasting consolation and good hope by grace comfort your hearts and establish you in every good word and work. Muna yung ni Paul. Word and work. That is culture. Muna nga itong establish. Kaya unsa di ang culture ni Jesus? Jesus' culture is love. Maunang, di na kumutubag sa akong ate, masking lamig pa kay itubag. Because Jesus' culture is love. Kumutubag ba ko sa akong ate? Love ba akong ipakita? Sa akong bana, sus, grabe good kaayo. Akong bana, akong best friend, akong best enemy. Ay, sus, lamig good kaayo. Unya kay, ah, katawa ang mga kuan, misis. Kasi yung bana, magsistorya kita. Tapos, kaya gano'n siya giyoyo. Tapos, sa akong utok ba? Kaya gano'n ako na siya pildihon. Kaya gano'n kaya ako, sus, i-bullet form. Gano'n ako na siya pagpildihon. Sa aon ako na siya. Unya, naan man ka sa ginoo. Unya, gugma na. Kung imo nang ipakita ng yung ana. Sayang sa akong preparation, Lord. O, di nagigip po niya may sa iya, ha? Kadili, manggog ma. Di ba? Na yung mga young people, lamik kay kasabuan, hmm, kagoy, jug ulo, oy. O niya, ang saan man niya mo pagkasaba? In love, gihapon. Tingala ko, itong pagstorya na sa young people, ako na yung una naghilak. Kapalo ba ka, gigog ma, kaya ka sa ginoo. Kaya yung ala, ang kultura sa ginoo, love. Maunang musimba ta, kaya gihigog ba na ito ang ginoo. Maunang dalo na ito, itong mga anak, kaya gihigog ba na ito, itong anak. Gusto na ito, mailan nila si Kristo. Mauna ang kultura, di ring simbahana. Jesus is the culture and the culture of Jesus is love. Everything must be driven in love. Maunang dili ta magpakasala kay gihigugma na to si Kristo. Gamay ang explanation sa bata sa kung pag-umangkon. Nagyawin, nakasala naman po siya. Mawa na din na si Haley, akong anak. Eli, bad imong ginahimo. Kinsa ang masad? Mawa siya. Si Jesus, tinood man na. Pag ikaw magpakasala, ikaw maghimo og butang na dili makapalipay sa ginoo. Magsakit ang kasing-kasing sa ginoo. Gusto ninyo magsakit ng kasing-kasing sa ginoo? Wala, di na sila manubag. Nag-isip sila, ikapila, gina ko na-hurt si Jesus, no? Sige lang, humanap to, humanap to. Mga tala ko balik. Kinsa sa inyo ang gusto na mapalipay si Kristo. Amen. Dili na to, pasakitan si Kristo. Kaya gihigog man na to siya. We love our families. That's why we will have family devotion. We love the next generation. That's why we teach them. That's why we encourage them to join accountability groups. We join sa ato ang prayer and fast because the culture of Jesus Christ is love. Ingon pa ni Ma'am Love last Sunday, churches need to become highly intentional. This word intentionality is very important and heavy, especially nowadays. Because the devil is so intentional in what he is doing. Unya kita dari wala wala lang kita po dapat intentional nata. Intentionally in creating a sustainable, healthy culture and Jesus being the culture. Pag musulod ka aning simbahan ni ang imong makita si Kristo. Dili na activities. Dili na kung unsa ka gwapo mo tugtog ang praise and worship. Bag, bag, bag mayabag ang praise and worship. Sa lagi to sa praise and worship, di mo ko ka-worship. Dili na yung ana. Si Kristo na ang imuhang makitan. And di ba culture is social systems po siya. When we establish that culture, Jesus being the culture of this church, I tell you, mabit-bit na ninyo sa inyong balay. Mabitbit na ninyo sa inyong offices, sa inyong schools. That's why the leaders of this church, i-push good, ma'am love, culture good ang i-share. Yes, teacher G. Bar, lisod kaayo, lagi lisod siya, pero importante, good kaayo siya. 
Unse igingon sa Matthew 6.33, Seek ye first the kingdom of God. And all these things shall be added unto you. Unahon si Kristo. That is the culture of our church. Unahon si Kristo. That is the culture of our church. Unsa, munang When we say, man, God, uh, Jesus is the culture and the culture being love, sometimes napatay question mark sa itong utok. <laughs> Saan man na pastora? Asa man ang dapit unahon? That's why here sa ato ang church, we are establishing three things. Habalo mo, gistorya ni ni Ma'am Love sa mo, I think more than a year, Ma'am Love. Pero ignanta mo, karun pag yung kuna, kasabot ka ayo. Katong ministry fair. Ano man, nag-edit man ko. Kasi mo, tanong-tanong, ano, ang saan man gusto ni Ma'am Love, ano yung animan, oy. Karon pa na ko ni nasabtan e nasabtan na ko siya kay nakita pod nako na siya na ginahimo na sa simbahan unsa ang first na gusto na culture i cultivate diri prayer and fast nga anong prayer and fast man we can just pray but prayer and fasting we draw closer to the lord ignanta mo lahi lagyud ang experience sa prayer and fast I know the feeling na mahadlok sa prayer and fast kay ako po na hadlok. Imagine na nang ignan ka ni Ma'am Love, Teacher Jibay, ikaw ang in charge sa prayer and fast. Lord, wala pa man ko katisting og prayer and fast akong kinabuhi, Lord. Unya ikaw ipa in charge. Wala Lord, dun saon man ni Lord, salamat ka sa akong mama kay naka-experience sa prayer and fast. Paspas kay nakasulat akong mama mo si Jose Rizal, naglingkod sa lamisa. Nagsulat siya dito og program sa prayer and fast. Kulbaan gud kayo ko kay wa gud ko kabalo unsa ng prayer and fast. Kay feeling nako para sa mga holy of holies lang ng prayer and fast. Para lang sa mga pastor, pero ignanta mo all of us, we are called for prayer and fast. And kabalo ba mo? Even sa among Bible study sa kids, gitudlo ang prayer and fast. Nakasabot sila na importante ang prayer and fast. Next Saturday, May 14, is the schedule of the church for our prayer and fast. I pray by God's grace and love, mga pilta sa ato ang prayer and fast. Amen. Hallelujah. Sige first, the kingdom of God. Kabalo ko, naghaglabo nun. Kabalo ko, Saturday, sudyante, module. But that is the culture of our church. That is the culture that we are establishing in this church. Mga pilta og prayer and fast. Kay dili pa man takabalo, saan na to pag-fast? Ato ang sarili lang. Apilta sa church. Naan ay mga tao dili sa simbahan na to. Nag-fast na sila for three days. Sila nang during, mag-fast. Ingon pa sila nang during. It's possible, seven days. Sa kuwa ba sa kong utok? Lord, kaya ba na ako seven days? Hindi ko na ako kaya. Grasya sa ginoo. Maunang kinsa diri ang wala pa ka-attend sa prayer and fast. Taas o kamot. Ayaw mo kaulaw. Sige lang, hindi na lang ako pataas o kamot. Sa inyong heart na lang na, I tell you, you will experience the Lord in a day. Deeper in more intimate way during prayer and fast. Ano ba tong yung people sa kuwa? Tete, unsa din ang ginahimo sa prayer and fast? Kung pitaw no, unsa din ang ginabot sa prayer and fast? Morning, mag-ampo. Na may listahan. Glory to God, nakahimo ako mama og listahan. Na may listahan, you pray for yourself, you pray for your loved ones. Pag magsugod na kag-pray, isuon din na mundang. Nagana kayo na, friends, family, abot, abot na natanan sa imo, masilingan. And then sa lunchtime, dili nagakaon o kanon or any food, nagakaon o pulong sa ginoo. Last prayer and fast na minog at miog, duha kawali. Alas dusi yun na igsuon, ginabuhat. Muna ni nakagutumon, ginagakaon na ka sa, sa pulong sa ginoo. And on the afternoon, na ay mga specific prayers na ginapray. We pray for the church, we pray for the country, we pray for the missionaries, na ay mga prayer requests na ginabutang sa bungbong, uh, sa, sa blackboard, ginapray na siya. Mauna ang ginahimo sa prayer and fast. Again, I am inviting everyone attend the prayer and fast. If you want your relationship with the Lord maging lalom, apil mo o prayer and fast. Kabalo ko, nanay, nagduha-duha, tulutulo, upat-upat ang utok ka ron. Ignanta mo, the right choice and the best choice is to attend the prayer and fast. Why am I so confident in telling you, kaya wa aning Pastor Lajibay, oy, kay kabalo ko ang ginoo naa, mustorya sa inyo ha. 
During prayer and fast, magod, wala kayo laing ginaisip. Ang imong focus lang yun is the Lord. Praying to the Lord. Fasting, understanding, Lord, ikaw lang. So I'm challenging everyone, mga ka-AG, mga ka-Bible study, mga kasimbahan, ka-church, ka-YE, ka-children, ka-mama, ka-papa, kamutanan. I am inviting everyone join the prayer and fast. Saturday, May 14, 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. Ay mo kabalaka kay hindi kayo uuwing luhaan. Maghilak bang tagdagan kay dere pero dili mo mag-uwing luhaan. Second, unsa ang ginakultivate? Accountability group. Na mi kaayo na naa kay accountability group. Mauna kung wala pa mo'y accountability group, panguhit nung sa mga pastora, wala pa ko'y accountability group. Kay God has already prepared an accountability group for you. I believe it in my heart. God has prepared accountability group for you. And if you put yourself out there, you leave it to the Lord, God will really bless you. And the third one, na maog ni siyang ginapanin ka, muta na ko, good, maging honest na lang ko sa inyo ha, punctuality and stewardship. Nga naman, kaya ang Kristohanon gives the best to the Lord because the Lord deserves our best. Maunang, if you give their best to the Lord, buntag pa lang, gwapa na kapadulong sa simbahan. Amin d'yo ko eh, kapila na d'yo ko niya to din sa simbahan. Kalka kay ang buhok, kalka kay ang nawong. Nga naman, huwag man nagsayong. Huwag man gihatag. Maunang pag-abot sa simbahan, dili best. So let's give our best. Very particular, punctuality. Magsayuta igsuon. And stewardship. Whatever the Lord has given you, be a steward. Naman tayo wali, Ana. And don't worry, ato pa ni siyang istoryan, himay-himay yun. And kabalo mo, kani sila ng mga boys. Kani sila ng mga boys na itaga indangan, na itaga matina ba ni Ma'am Love, na itaga pulumulok, na itaga airport, na itaga taga sasa, na itaga salud, na itaga San Antonio. Kani sila, nag-accountability ni sila, nag-start pandemic. Wala pagyud ni sila nagkita tanan. Nagkita sila last last Friday. Ay last Saturday nagpiknik sila. Pagkita nila no mura sila og 50 years na nagila. Grabe gyud kayo. Why? Because of accountability group. Kanang ilang smile ing ana gyud na sila sa ilang accountability group. Makadungog ko, makatawa na lang gud ko. Ngano man because God can use technology. Daghan kay tagrason, pandemic di ko kapil Bible study, wala di ko ka accountability. Tanawan ning mga bataan ni. Buo ni sila mag-schedule dayon. So, buot-buot mo na sila kay Ati Dayday. Gusto pag, pag umapag ka ng accountability group, pahawaw na nila si Ati Dayday. Kaya nga naman, nag-chika pa di ay sila. Pagbalik ni Ati Dayday after 30 minutes, nag-studio pa, ba't ka nagbalik Ati Dayday? Ha? Naaday sila kay nag-build na sila of friendship. Ingana ang ato ang culture diri sa simbahan. Muna, pag-abot nila diri sa simbahan, first time ko talaga nagsimba sa, sa, sa Church of God. Pero happy kayo kay daghan mang kay friends. That is the accountability group. And muna siyang, together we study the word of God and encounter the God of the word. Maunang SOAP, S-O-A-P. Magbasa ta sa Bible. Kaya yun pa ni Kuyed Sel Bato na ang SOAP daw, di lang daw na makalimpi sa lawas, pati sa itong pagkatao yun daw. Malimpi yun daw na kung mag-SOAP yun na ninyo. Habalo ko, Naayuban sa inyo, bago pa ni, ignanta mo, kami po nag-start, naglisod po ni, pero sug di lang. Sug di lang yun ninyo. Kaya nga naman, remember, Jesus is with you. Whatever things na lisodan mo, Christ is in you. And He will help you. And He will be with you along the way. Muunang, ganahan ko ng footprints in the sand. Nga naman, Di ba sa footprints in the sun, ano siya, Lord, katulad yung nagka-problema ko, two sets of footprints na lang lagi akong makitaan. Kung sa ingo ni Christ, kung ako pa to, akong words pa, alangan anak, gikarga naman tika. In ana, si Kristo sa ato ah. So, defining and understanding the significance of culture, why is it important? Because it will shape 
the next generation. Kung dili ta magsugod karon unsang klasing generation na ang sunod generation. If you will not start now, imagine na lang ninyo if grabe karon ang compromises within the church, compromises of our culture, atong government na ganit kawatan. Unsa na lang ang next generation. Importante ang culture because it is shaping and passing on the legacy. Importante siya kay dili lang ni Karun. Culture that we are establishing, dili lang ni Karun. I believe that Pastor Sami sa una pa has been kneeling down in prayer. Kaya okay na mag-pray. Gikan ko na siya, mag-pray na si Pastor Sam by lugar. Di ba? Magsugod na siya dito sa may tibong kulas na hantod maabot na siya. Santo Tomas pag yun ito siya. Kabaluko, perting ampo ni Pastor Sami. That is why we are like this. The culture na to ing ani, kay someone prayed for us, someone decided to create that culture na masking, dagan kig mo mo oppose, dagan kig mingon mali na, dili na. But we have to stand on the word of God and Christ in us. And we will build that culture. Shaping and passing the legacy. The things that we involve ourselves today, the culture that we build today will shape the next generation. Ingon pa last Sunday, ingon si Ma'am Love, where we live determines how we live. Asa man kakaroon. Maunang kita na atadiri aning simbahana, we will have Jesus as our culture and that culture is love and we will practice that by prayer and fast, accountability group, punctuality, and stewardship. So, mauni siya, para di na mo maglain pa, gunahuna, para di na mo maglisod pa. Number one, prayer and fast. Number two, accountability group. Number three, punctuality and stewardship. At ito na siyang istorya haon, pala lumun pag yun nato, but I pray sa karun na nasab na ninyo how important it is to build that culture. And what culture? Jesus has our culture and that culture is love. So, as reflection questions, ask yourselves, what kind of culture am I living today? What kind of culture do I want to pass on to the next generation? And number three, am I living as if Jesus is my culture. And number four, what changes do I need to do now? I believe that the Lord is speaking in your hearts right now. I believe that God is speaking clearly. Ayaw ninyo bungol-bunguli ang ginaingon ni Kristo sa inyo ha, Karun. Act on it. Karun palang daan. I-offer na ng mga butang nagipakita sa Ginoo, gipa-realize sa Ginoo sa imo that I have to stop doing because this is not the culture of Jesus Christ. I have to stop doing this and I have to start doing this. I ask everyone to please stand up. The Lord is here. The Lord is speaking to each and every one of us. And as I pray, I ask you to bow your heads. Hallelujah, Jesus, O oh God. Lord, we thank you, O oh God, Lord, for allowing us to understand what great mystery you are, O oh God. Kung kami lang, Lord, di good me makasabot, but salamat kay sa imuhang grace, sa imuhang love, Father, O oh God. Lord, right now, I pray that you will bless each member of this church, O oh God. That you will allow us, O oh God, Lord, to fully embrace your culture, O oh God. Na amu alang yung masabtan, O oh God, Lord, dili lang in words, but in our action, O oh God. That, Lord, the way we speak, the way we think, the way we live, O oh God, mahimaya git ka, O oh Lord. Salamat kayo, O God, Lord, for I know ikaw pa dayon magasturya sa amu, sa amu mga kasing-kasing, O God, in our devotion, O God, in our prayer time. 
Speak to your people, O God. Speak to your people, O God. Daily, Father, O God. Allow us to see your miracles unfold right before our very eyes, O God, Lord. Allow us to see, O God, Lord, our culture changing, O God, Lord, to be more like you each day, O God. Lord, salamat kayo, O God. Salamat sa imuhang gahom na mo change sa mo, O God. Salamat sa imuhang gugma na mo gunit sa mo, O Father, O God. And thank you for your grace that will never let us go, O God. Salamat kayo, O God. We praise you. We glorify your name. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. Ito pa lang pa ka natumbo yung ginoo. Hallelujah. Thank you, Teacher G. Bye. Please sit down for a while. And sing with me as I'm going to sing the song, our response song, Your Ways Are Higher Than Mine. It's not what I prayed for, it's not what I wanted, it's not something I understand. My circumstances seem so confusing I'm placing it all in your hands Your ways are higher than mine I want mountains to move You want me to climb Praise the living God. Indeed, Jesus is our culture and His ways are so much higher than ours. 
Let's all stand and let us now prepare our tithes and our love offerings to our Lord Jesus Christ. 2 Corinthians 9, 6 to 8. Remember this, whoever sows sparingly will also reap sparingly. And whoever sows generously will also reap generously. Each of you should give what you have decided in your heart to give. Not reluctantly or, or under compulsion, but God loves a cheerful giver. Or for God loves a cheerful giver. And God is able to give us, bless us abundantly, so that in all things at all times, having all that you need, you will abound in every good work. Thank you for preparing your tithes and offerings. And of course, ang ato mga members, ang ato mga friends who are live streaming with us. Thank you very much for supporting the ministry of this church. You can also give online through our BPI account name and account numbers, of course. Thank you so much. And uh, that is now flashed on your screen and it will be flashed after the service. In the meantime, let us all recite our declaration as we raise our tithes and offerings to our Lord beginning now. I declare in the name of Jesus Christ, financial blessings and breakthrough upon me and upon the members of this church. I will continue to be faithful in supporting the work of God. I will continue to be committed in doing the work of God according to His will. I declare breakthrough in our businesses, breakthrough in our jobs, breakthrough in our families. The sources of my income will be protected and the work of my hands will be blessed by the power of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah, hallelujah be to the living God. Lord, thank you for financially blessing us and we will continue to believe by faith that we will be provided because you are our great provider. Lord, our tithe and our offerings we offer to you with our whole hearts, Lord God. Because we believe for where treasure is, there our heart will be also. And that is why, Lord, we honor you with our treasures because our heart belongs to you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name, thank you, Father. Amen and amen. You can now give or place your tithes and offerings to the baskets near you. Ugmang Adlawa is election day already. And it is but kind of fitting for us as a church, as one body of Christ, as strong disciples of Jesus Christ, as authentic followers of Jesus Christ, we need to pray for the election tomorrow. Kinahanglan ibutang yun nato sa tunghuna-huna na kung kinsa ang ibutang sa ginoo, iyahag yung sovereign will ang matuman. And for all of us, ngayon mga needs, you can just raise your hands up to heaven. Signifying that you have a need. And I do believe if you have a need, you can have a miracle. And whatever the answer to your prayers, whether it's a resounding yes, or a faith-building no, or a persevering wait, I believe the Lord will strengthen our hearts. A Psalm of David in chapter 34, verses 17 to 19. The righteous cry out, and the Lord hears, and delivers them out of all their troubles. The Lord is near to those who have broken heart, and saves such as have a contrite spirit. Many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord delivers him out of them all. Many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord delivers them out of them all. We raise up our hands to you, Lord God, signifying that we have a need of, from you, O oh Lord, and you know the burdens deep inside our hearts. But first, O oh Lord, we would like to ask for your favor, O oh Lord, for tomorrow is the election day for this country, O oh God. For your beloved country, Philippines. Nakita ni mo, Ginoong Dios, how you have prospered the country. Lord, nakita na mo, Ginoong Dios, how you have um, preserved this country, O oh God. Pilipinas is for the Lord. Ang Pilipinas is for the Lord. O oh Lord, nakita ni mo, O oh Lord, how we have struggled how you have emerged as a victor, O oh God. 
But Lord, tomorrow we will exercise our right to suffrage. We will exercise, oh God, our right, oh Lord Jesus, as citizens of this country. But Lord, may we ask, Father, that you will give us a clean election. You will give us an honest selection. Oh God, let it be, Father, that in every nook and area, O oh Lord, of this country, Ikaw, Ginong Dios ang mutindog. Ikaw, Ginong Dios ang mapreserbar sa imong mga katawhan. We pray for a clean election, honest elections, O oh God. And we pray, Father, kung kinsa imuhang kabubuton ng mutindog as Presidente, Vice President, and all the others, O oh God, na imong ibutang, down to the mayor, vice mayor of this country, Lord, we pray, Father, with our whole heart, oh God, give us favor, mighty God. And Lord, together, oh God, we will abound, oh God, in your mercy. We will abound in love. Oh Lord, we pray, kung kinsa man ang imong ibutang, oh God, help us, oh God, to accept that. Help us, O oh Lord, to embrace that, O oh God. And may we ask, O oh God, Jesus, give us wisdom, O oh God, tomorrow. pag na mo sa eskwelahan, kung asa may magboto, O oh God, give us wisdom, give us your anointing as well, O oh Lord. Karon diligid may magkamali, O oh God. Hayaan ni mo, Lord, na kung kinsa tong pangalan, na gusto ni mo nga mong butohan, let it be, O oh God, na muna, muna among isulat. Sa, sa boto, O oh God. Lord, I pray, even, O oh God, for the remaining days, O oh Lord, of President Rodrigo Duterte as our president of this country, and even, O oh God, our vice mayor, Inday Sara Duterte, our vice mayor, our mayor, O oh God, Mayor uh, Sara Duterte, and our vice mayor, Paste Duterte, our barangay captain, O oh God, Cap um, Chonko, and all the others, O oh God, who work for the, for the, for the country, for the government, O oh Lord, I pray that you will protect them, O oh God. I know that kung kaayo ni siya na challenge for them, but I pray, O oh God, if you are the Lord of our hearts, you are the God of this Philippines, this country, Philippines, I believe, O oh God, na ikaw yun ang magtindog gino na buhi, Buhi ginoo na ginoo. Buhi o makagagahong sa tanan. And we expect, oh God, miracle from you. Politicians, incumbent of the upcoming, I know, oh God, they will see the Almighty God. They will feel the presence of God. And they will learn that you only know the future, oh God. And you know and you hold our future. Hallelujah. Even, oh God, sa mga miembro diri sa mong simbahan, oh God, sa Church of God, sasa, gikan sa Santo Tomas, oh Lord. Sa panabo, sa ilang, sa tibong ko, sa, sa tibok, sa, sa ogan, San Roque, ang liyong to, hangtod na sa Matina, Katalunan, Kalinan. And even, oh God, abroad, all over the globe, oh God, nakita ni mo ang among mga membro from Canada, Japan, Singapore, New York, Abu Dhabi, oh God, Qatar, Malaysia, oh, mga uban pa nga, mga countries, Lord Jesus. Na wala man ako na mention, you know them, you've seen them, oh God. And I pray, Father Jesus, ikaw magapadayon, ginog, I'll take care sa ilang mga panimalay, sa ilang pamilya, naman sila mag nagkadaiyang mga pagkinahanglan. But Lord, we believe in the God who is living. We believe in the God who is alive. We believe in a God who is a miracle-working God. Na maugayot, ginoo magpanglihok sa among tagsa-tagsa na kinabuhi. Lord, spiritually, O God, comfort our weary souls. Physically, O God, comfort our tired bodies, O Lord. Continue to give us peace in our homes. Continue to give us um, peace in, in, in our offices, in our workplaces. And even in the church, oh God, and let the love of Jesus Christ reign all over us. Thank you, oh God, for the Bible says you, oh Lord, will restore us to health, whether physically, emotionally, financially, and spiritually. Thank you, Jesus, even, oh God, sa among pastoral sessions, among men's ministry karun ginoo, ang AG sessions today, oh God, and this week. May you empower us and you will continue to teach us, oh God. Lord, preserve your church. Preserve your people and your family, O oh God, in the body of Christ. May we glorify you in everything we do. May we exalt you, O oh God. And let our lips always say, Be exalted, O oh God, above the heavens. Let thy glory be over all the earth. Let's sing the song, Be exalted, O oh God. Be exalted, O oh God.
face shine upon you and be gracious unto you. The Lord lift his countenance upon you and give you peace. May the love of God, the Father, and the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the sweet communion and fellowship of the Holy Spirit will be with us now and forevermore. And the people of the Lord will say, Amen. Amen. God bless you. See you next Sunday. Kids Jam is up next. God bless everyone. For your tithes and offering, you may deposit or make online transfer to the church bank account. Please refer to these details. Current account name, Church of God World Mission of the Philippines. Current account number, 2091-021-091. May God bless you as you give to the Lord. Oh